All right, so either you're here to see my cat sit on this chair all funny, or you are here to learn the secret behind playing in tune on the violin or viola. If you're here for the latter, I'm here to tell you that the trouble with your intonation might actually be coming from your right hand and not your left. A perfectly in tune left hand is of course necessary to get in tune notes, but did you know that your bow can press your notes out of tune? So with no fingers touching these strings at all, listen carefully. <laughs> So aside from the kind of scratchy, undesirable tone, did you hear that the pitch of my string was fluctuating? It was going a little flat and then coming back up? Simply from improper bow pressure. So I see this in a lot of beginning players. A lot of students struggle with, with proper bow control and that affects your left hand intonation. It makes it like twice as hard. Also, it affects just tuning your open strings. If your open strings aren't tuned, your fingered notes aren't going to be in tune either. So if you are struggling with intonation in any way or just general tone, go check out my bow info series where I walk you through step by step how to properly tighten your bow, how to rosin your bow, bow hold, some exercises to strengthen your bow hold, and finally how to get a great sound on your instrument. And then you can practice what you've just learned by checking out my tone production duets series available for both violin and viola. Um, I'm using the Leopold Hour Graded Course of Violin playing book one. We're going straight to the back to the daily dozen duets. These are open string parts for the pupil and the teacher plays double stop accompaniment things to make it just a little bit more fun to practice your open strings because if you can get a great solid, stable sound on your open strings, then you should have no problem getting that left hand to go down in the right spot and being confident in your intonation. So go check out something, <laughs> come play along with me, and I hope that you find something. What are you doing up there? <laughs> I hope you find something that helps you. Good luck and happy practicing.